the whole concept of the title, the booby trap, because the booby trap is, is something that a person don't expect, you know? They get into it, they get caught up in it, you know what I'm saying? Anything that, the reason why I named my, my title mine is the booby trap because once you listen to it, you're trapped, you know what I'm saying, no matter what. So I had the, you know, the booby trap, then I had come out with the booby trap two, and I come out with the booby trap three. The booby trap three, that was my last drop, you heard me, because from the third wall, you know what I'm saying? It don't get no bigger than that, you hear me? So, you know, that's why I, I titled the, the last one the Booby Trap 3, but, you know, um, Booby Trap, that's me, you know what I'm saying? I'm Booby. Is that the end of that series? No, it'll never be an end of the series because I could make, you know, I could make like four or five, you know, you know mixtapes that with different names, you know what I'm saying? But no, but the Booby Trap series. You've oh, already Booby Trap three series. Yeah, one, two, three, no more. That's it. You'll never look. You'll never see another Booby Trap. And if you do, it's fake. You know what I'm saying? It's not the real deal. You hear me? It's a replica. Booby Trap three, OG Booby Black, third wall. Know what it is? Nothing bigger than the three. The artwork. Give me the whole concept of why you chose the artwork to look the way it does for this project. Because you know I'm thugging on all my on all my other projects, you know what I'm saying? And you can't always win with doing the same thing. You gotta change it up, you know what I'm saying? You gotta show people that I'm versatile, you know? You dig? So, you know, Jay-Z done a, he done a, um, a tape cover, you know, his, his album, Reasonable Doubt, he had a suit on, you know what I'm saying? Biggie had a suit on, a lot of people had suits on because those people growing up, you know what I'm saying? They're evolving in life, you know what I'm saying? They seeking better things, you know? so. I didn't have the jewelry on, you know. I didn't have the gold tee shining. I wasn't thugging with the guns and the Maybach in the back and all that. I wasn't doing all that. I came clean, you know what I'm saying? And that suit that I have on costs a lot of money, dog. You know, I was fresh, growed up, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? On my big dog shit, you know what I'm talking about? The release date, was there any significance on why this release date was chosen for this project? Because July is the seventh month. 17th, you know what I'm saying? 17th, the 17th first days, you know what I'm saying? In 2017, 777, you heard me? You hear 777 in the goddamn casino, you tell me what it do, Smiles. You know what it is. The amount of songs on the project, why that amount for this one? Really, I wanted to put more, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't want to give the, I didn't want to give the fans too much. Because when you overdo something, it's like putting too much it's like putting too much sugar on the cake. You're going to be nasty. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get tired. You heard me? So I don't want to get a fan too much. So I just put that amount of songs on there just to give them enough. The track list. Who put this track list together and what was the process behind it? Um, I had a person, I had an A&R work with Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? And I also had this other A&R, this other, um, this, this Atlantic consultant, you know what I'm saying, named John. And I had the A&R Atlantic, Raheem. You know, they put it together and they, you know, they set it up the way they wanted to be. And I also had, you know, um, you know, Gates' wife, Drita, she just told me to give her a bundle of music. You know what I'm saying? So what I did, I gave her a bundle. You know, I didn't give her five, six songs. I gave her a bundle, like 36 songs. You know, so when it comes to that, I let them do the, do the business deal of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way it came out. They took out those songs, the ones that they liked, and they put it together. You know what I'm saying? It came out nice. Okay, uh, explain the flow, if there is one, on the sequence or the arrangement of the project, and if so, how it rides from beginning to end. Yeah, basically, Booby Trap 3, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 it's more of a laid back, it's more of a laid back, you know what I'm saying, thing when you first listen to it. You're not going to skip no song. You know, I'm going to hit you from the beginning, you know what I'm saying, kicking in the door, coming through with that gangster shit, hard flow. You know, then I, you know, I, I, I level off and I get back and I, you know, I, I let y'all mellow out and I give y'all some laid back shit, you know, some strip club shit, some club shit, you know what I'm saying? Then I come back with that raw shit again, you know what I'm saying? So basically, you know, throughout the whole album, it just, you know, straight, you know, go, everything on go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got live on the gram, man. Everybody know what's happening, you know what I'm saying? Instagram is the livest thing that's going on right now. So, you know, I came with that raw shit, and I let y'all know, you know, I'm going live on the gram. They got motherfuckers look at Instagram before they brush their teeth in the morning. You know what I'm saying? They got motherfuckers look at Instagram, you know what I'm saying, when they taking the shit. No matter what they're doing, they're looking at the gram. So they live. So I gave y'all live on the gram and told y'all what that was about. That was my single. You know what I'm saying? If you're sleeping on that, you better go listen to that because that is you. 
that is everybody around this motherfucker. If you riding in the street or where you going, somebody is live. You know, so that's my single. I put it out for those of y'all that know about it. You know what I'm saying? 100. For those of y'all that don't know about it, y'all sleeping. Y'all better go fuck with that. Are there any other records you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to talk about the record I made, you know what I'm saying, with Massacre, you heard me, in Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? It was real, it was a real hell of experience of being in another country, you know, foreign country, making music with a foreigner, you know what I'm saying? They doing, <laughs> and it's like, I did music in, in a studio where, you know, legendary Bob Marley, you know what I'm saying, stood in the same spot, you know what I'm saying, and made music. So to me, that was big, you know, and... Yeah, I have a song Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you about Jamaica. I'm telling you what it is in Jamaica. I really lived in Jamaica. I didn't go to, to Jamaica and was in no goddamn, you know, tourist section in Montego Bay. I was really on the streets, St. Catherine, you know, Budwalk, you know what I'm saying? I was really on the streets of Jamaica, you know, and I was in that motherfucker. So, yeah, that song right there, you know, Jamaica is, is real, it's true, you know what I'm saying? It's raw, you know, I fuck with it. And if you know about the Booby Trap 3, you should fuck with it too. What's Bob Marley's studio like? Bob Marley's studio, it's like the, it's like raw in there, you know what I'm saying? You can't go in there and just, you know, can't know anybody just walk up to there. You can't say, well, I want to go to Tough Gong and I want to, I want to make a, a, a feature with somebody. You have to know somebody. You have to be connected with something, somebody over there, you know? You just don't walk in there, you know what I'm saying? Everything there, you know what I'm saying, is respected, you know what I mean? You can't go in there, you know, cursing, you know, rest in peace Bob Marley. They don't do that. His soul's still alive in there, and you feel it. You know what I'm saying? They respect you when you're there. You know, they show you love, you know? So it was, it was a hell of an experience for me just to be in the presence of that. You know what I'm saying? Is the equipment different in that studio than maybe a studio in nah, Atlanta or nah, nah, L.A.? Nah, they, nah, everything. Them Jamaicans got their shit on deck, you heard me? Them Jamaicans, yeah, the same shit we got over here, they got it over there. It's that shit better, too. They, they got their shit together, dog. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't think, oh yeah, well we, there's some old shit Bob Marley, no. Fuck no, they shit together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. How many uh, songs you recorded in there, just that one? Yeah, I recorded just that one song, cause like I say, you know, you gotta be somebody to go there. Think about it, Jay-Z went there. When Jay-Z went there, it was the talk of the town, oh Jay-Z in Jamaica. But OG Booby Black went there, and it just like, I went there, but I was connected. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z wasn't connected. You know, Jay-Z, you know, he came over there with his, you know, whatever, but I was connected like real family. You know what I'm saying? Any other records you want to talk about? Yeah, I got this song. It's like a series. It's called Guapo. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a dude that got set up. You know what I'm saying? He got set up by a girl. He liked the girls and, you know, he go to the club. He liked to lick. He get drunk. You know what I'm saying? And he brought a bitch home one night and... And the bitch laid up there and set him up. She dropped the location, got some niggas come to the house, and, you know, dudes got killed, you know, shot, and Guapo got killed. And it was a big turf wall, you know, and if a motherfucker know me, they know about that song. For those that don't know me, you know what I'm saying, don't think that that song is, there's no bullshit, you know what I'm saying? That song is the truth. And I have the second sequel where, you know, have the, I used the, I used the, you know, the names. I changed the names, you know what I'm saying, to protect the innocent. You know what I'm saying, like that. So the second series came on where, you know, the girl, she got his money and, you know, she ran to the streets and she got dealt with. And that shit happened every day, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga, be careful who you fucking with because real true story, Booby Trap 3, go listen to Guapo, go listen to Blanco. It's real shit. Good with these records? Um... I have another one. I have one I'm talking about my city, you know what I'm saying? We be in my city, you heard me? And I'm just basically giving a real about, you know, my city. You heard me? Just telling them how, you know, our people coming up, you know what I'm saying? How it is out there in the city. You know, it's prostitution out there. It's, it's drug users out there, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, kidnapping. It's rape. It's robbery. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hustling. Everything in my city is... It's corrupt, you know what I'm saying? And in the jungle, you gotta know how to survive, you know? So I'm just giving you the word on that. You know, we be in my city. That's like the last thing on that Booby Trap 3, the outro. Good with that? Yeah, and I got one more, one more thing on that with Young Dolph. You know, shout out to Dolph, you heard me? Um, you know, 
me getting the guap, you heard me? I see dude, he talk about the flashy, you know, flashy cars, getting money, you know what I'm saying? So we connected, we done some raw shit, and that was like a studio banger, that's like a, a club banger, you know what I'm saying? I be getting that guap, raw shit.